Okay, let's do another example uh, of finding area under the graph. Uh, well, here the function is 2 to the power 2x plus 3 and interval is 0, 1. Well, there is no uh, specific method mentioned in the example, so you can either use a left end point or right end point. Here I'm using a right end point. My suggestion is you try to do left end point and at the end, the limit, the area must be the same thing by the theorem that we have. So here, then we have delta x, which is the length of each sub-interval. This is equal to length of the, the, the interval 0, 1 divided into n equal pieces. xi, the right end point, is a plus i delta x, which is 0 plus i times 1 over n, and this is i over n. Then we need the area of the uh, ice rectangle. This is delta x, 1 over n, f of i over n, which is 1 over n, 2 to the power 2 times i over n, plus 3. Uh, can I simplify this? Yes, a little bit. It will be helpful. Here I can write, uh, you see, 2 to the power something plus 3, I can write this as 2 to the power 2i over n times 2 to the power 3 divided by n. But 2 to the power 3 is 8, okay, so I can write it this way. Yeah. Now uh, we form our n. Our n is sum of these guys from 1, i going from 1 to n, uh, 2 to the power 2i over n. You see, this piece is independent of summing intervals, so this will be 8 over n, sum of i goes from 1 to n, 2 to the power 2n, 2in. Well, this is one of those, those geometric series. Remember, r to the power i, i going from 1 to n. That's the formula we had was r minus r to the power n plus 1, 1 minus r. But you may say, okay, this is not r to the power i. Well, what we can make it as r, which is 2 to the power 2n to the power i. i goes from 1 to n. Then, uh, while we use that formula, let me write it here. Our n is going to be 8 over n times 2 to the power 2n, 2 over n, minus, that's r for us, minus 2 to the power 2 over n to the power n plus 1, 1 minus 2 to the power 2 over n. Uh, well, we can make it, make it uh, look a little bit better. So here, for example, 2 to the power 2 over n, you can write this 4 to the power 1 over n. This will be 4 uh, to the power n plus 1 over n. And then here in the denominator, we have... Um, okay, let me write this one also, 4 to the power 1 over n. Okay, so this is uh, our n. Now the area is equal to limit of our n as n goes to infinity. This means that 8, 4 to the power 1 over n, 4 to the power n plus 1 over n, uh, n, 1 minus 4 to the power 1 over n. n goes to infinity. Here we need to be uh, careful what is the limit of these guys. So limit of the numerator is going to be limit of 8, 4 to the power 1 over n minus 4 to the power n plus 1 over n as n goes to infinity. Well, this guy is 8 times, you see, 4 to the power 1 over n as n goes to infinity this is 0, 4 to the power 0, minus 4 to the power n plus 1 over n, as n goes to infinity, is 1. 
So this will give us 8 times negative 3. So that is the limit of the numerator. But the limit of denominator is a little bit uh, different story because when you um, try to find the limit as n goes to infinity, right away you notice that this piece is infinity. This is 1 minus 1. So this is infinity times 0. This is indeterminate product. We have to make sure that we, we resolve it. Well, um, just to get a good feeling on that, you can turn all uh, the uh, n's to x. As x goes to infinity. Now, uh, what we do, the rem remember the trick, uh, we write one of these as 1 over 1 over. So this will be... I will write x as 1 over 1 over as x goes to plus infinity. Now we turn in the indeterminate product to 0 over 0 and we can use L'Hopital's rule which tells us okay the derivative of the numerator we minus negative 1 over x squared 4 to the power uh, ln of 4, 4 to the power 1 over x. And the denominator negative 1 over x squared is what we have. So this cancels with that. And in the um, numerator, this part is 4 to the power 0. So we get negative ln of 4. So the limit of the denominator is negative ln 4. And as you see now, we have the limit of numerator, which is negative 24 uh, over negative ln of 4, which gives us 24 over ln 4. We can, you, I, I suggest you do the right, left end point approximation and you'll definitely get the same value as this approximation gave us.